Yo, what is up guys, Ghost here. So I'm sure you guys have been busy trying out Battlefield 2042's new 3.2 update. I hope you've been having a lot of fun with it. I know I have, although as I'm sure you guys have also experienced, it is quite a big change and it does take some getting used to. So I will be bringing you all my thoughts on a proper review of 3.2 very soon. But today I wanted to cover a few very strange bits of news that may have flown under your radar this week. Before we begin though, I just want to thank you guys for all your support. This week we streamed uh, a bit of 3.2 on Tuesday and we hit over 180 concurrent viewers, which is a huge number for me. So thank you to everybody who came out. We're also creeping up fast on 40,000 subscribers. So make sure you do hit that sub button and turn on your notifications as I do have a lot of 3.2 coverage planned that you don't want to miss. Okay, so first up here today, I wanted to address the drum magazine nerf. So for those of you who aren't aware, DICE snuck a secret change into patch 3.2 that was nowhere to be found in the patch notes, one of their famous stealth changes, where they nerfed the ADS time on extended magazines and drum magazines. So much so in fact that ADSing with a drum mag is now slower than ADSing with an LMG. So now some weapons where you would normally use a drum magazine like the K30, the AK24 or the SFAR have painfully slow ADS times. Now I can see why DICE made this change. They're trying to give each magazine in the game its own purpose, right? So you can go with a drum magazine with lots of ammunition or you can take a regular mag for a more snappy ADS speed. However, this is where the plot thickens because it actually turns out that this ADS animation is only visual. And you can try this out for yourself. Here I am in No Name's Aim Trainer, and all I'm doing is hitting both mouse buttons together here. And you can obviously tell, I think, that as soon as I press the ADS button, that new accuracy model is engaged, and it's simply a visual effect that you see of my soldier ADSing, which has no impact on gameplay, except of course that you can't see your sight. So not only did DICE actually believe that this was the right direction for the game, you know, nerfing all of the drum mags, but then not nerfing the ADS times of LMGs that have 200 round magazines. I mean, you know, if you're going to tie magazine size to ADS speed, then why on earth would a 50 round drum mag take longer to ADS with than a 200 round LMG? Not only did they hide this obviously massive change from the patch notes and instead let players figure it out for themselves, but they didn't even implement it correctly. I'm almost certain that this is completely unintended because why would you just add a visual ADS effect that has no impact on your accuracy? It just makes no sense. Anyway, I'm sure that DICE are discussing this internally. They haven't commented on it yet and I have a feeling there's a reason for that. They probably know they've made a bit of a blunder but they're probably either going to revert the change altogether, making everybody happy, or they're going to fix the ADS accuracy to only engage once the ADS animation has finished and piss everybody off. Now, in other news, the upcoming game Battlefield Mobile and its developer studio Industrial Toys have been shut down along with the Apex Mobile game that has actually already released. In EA's official statement, they say, we've made the decision to stop the development of the current Battlefield mobile title. As the industry has evolved and our strategy to create a deeply connected Battlefield ecosystem has taken shape, we decided to pivot from the current direction to best deliver on our vision for the franchise and to meet the expectations of our players. We remain highly committed to unlocking Battlefield's enormous potential. We're hard at work at evolving Battlefield 2042 and are in pre-production on our future Battlefield experiences at our studios across the globe. I will say that whilst it sucks that everybody at Industrial Games has been made redundant, you know, I think a lot of people have experienced that, including myself, and it does suck, so I wish them all the best. But I won't be shedding a single tear at the loss of a Battlefield mobile game. So I hope the reason they've chosen to shut this down is because Vince Sampella and the rest of the new gang have realised that Battlefield needs to go towards its roots instead of away from them and that a mobile game isn't the best direction to further that goal. However, apparently, according to Crash FPS, shout out to him, awesome dude, go check him out, in the EA earnings call, the reason they cancelled it 
is that they learned from Apex and FIFA that the title needed to be cross-progression and integrated with the main title in order to hold players. And since the mobile title was a different direction, indeed it seemed a lot like Battlefield 3 using some of the maps from that game, they basically just canned it. So it may just be that they're going to wait until the next Battlefield game releases as part of their new Battlefield universe, and then they'll hit us with a Battlefield mobile game that ties into that universe. Now, moving back to update 3.2, I'm not sure if DICE are aware of this, but once again, in No Name's Aim Trainer, I and other members of the community have made a few shocking discoveries. So firstly here, since patch 3.2 came out, you can now unlock weapons and attachments in this portal mode. So to test this, I unlock the MTAR here, I unlock thermal sights, I was even able to accomplish a weekly mission. I'm sure that this is unintended, but hey, if you really hate getting killed with the DM7 and you wanted to unlock the new M39 EMR, I'm not suggesting you should necessarily do this, but you could hop in here and shoot 100 bots in the face, which I totally didn't do. Now, speaking of the M39 EMR, that weapon too is completely and utterly broken. So as you can see here, it's a three shot kill in the body, two in the head, nothing to write home about really. But miraculously, as soon as you put a suppressor on there of all things, it's now a two shot body kill and one shot in the head, up to like, I think 40 meters or something. It's kind of insane. Now the weapon itself feels to me at least terrible to use, which is exactly what I expected from a vault weapon. So, you know, in keeping with the rest of the vault weapons in the game, if you equip the silencer, it's got a ton of bullet drop, way more than any of the base weapons, and the velocity is also painfully slow. So I found it most effective to actually put a laser on here and just run around hip firing people. I do have to say though, overall, I'm definitely enjoying patch 3.2. These are just some of the interesting tidbits I wanted to share with you guys today. Even though it did get a bit ranty, overall, I'm having a positive experience. So as I say, I will go over that in a video soon. But if you do want to get some of my first impressions of patch 3.2, go and check out this video here. If you want to chat with me, hit me up on Twitter or on Discord. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.